Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be testing out the O1 preview version that OpenAI just released a couple of weeks ago again and seeing whether it can solve another math problem. So if you're interested in having a look at the accuracy and the reasoning skills of the O1 preview model, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let me just move myself out of the way. I have tested this model before and a few weeks ago I looked at a trigonometry question and the answer was pretty close. I put another question in which is from the Oxford University Press books. Uh, this one's on coordinate geometry and so you can see I've got a sailing boat is moving along a straight line with equation minus 2.5x plus y equals 3 and then I might just put a comma here and put part 1 determine whether a tanker located at the point a 3 minus 2 on the trajectory, so let me just correct that, on the trajectory of the sailing boat. So part one is determine whether a tanker located at the point three minus two is on, so is on the trajectory of the sailing boat. And then part two of the question was, find the exact y coordinate of the port of arrival for the sailing boat if the x coordinate is 10. So let's press enter, and I'm gonna move up here so we can actually see. Now we know that the O1 preview model takes a little bit more time as it's reasoning and working out the steps. Okay, so what have we got? Part one, determine. So we've got the equation, the coordinates to determine. We actually substitute, yes, the point three minus two in. And once we do that, we check that the left-hand side doesn't equal the right-hand side. And yes, this is exactly the same solution as the one in the book. So substituting the point three minus two into the equation of the line, we can see the point three minus two does not lie on it. And it is exactly the same calculation. Let's have a look at part two. So scrolling uh, again to part two, find the exact y coordinate of the port when the x coordinate is 10. So we've got the equation. I really like how it breaks this down into steps. And then we want to substitute x equals 10. So to find the y coordinate, we substitute x equals 10. Let's see what it comes up with. It shows you all the steps. So it's not now using plug in, it's saying substitute back into the equation. And the y value is now 28, which is the exact solution that is here in the worked example from the Oxford University Press books. So I must say this is pretty impressive because now it gives you a summary. This is a great checker, I think, for uh, solving mathematics problems. But I want to reiterate that we would not be giving students this tool and saying find the answers, but perhaps using this tool as more as a guide, uh, providing prompts to guide students thinking so that they arrive at their own understanding. So it might be that you ask your students to actually solve this problem first themselves and then this AI tool can say, well, what is the first step or can you give me a hint? OK, so I might try that, actually. So let me move down here. I might say instead of finding the answer, can you give me a hint? And then let's see what it comes up with. So moving back up. So I don't want O1 preview to give me the actual answer. I may use it as a check later, but we want students to still find their own answers, right? So hint, to check if the point lies on the equation, substitute x and y coordinates. And then it tells you the steps and then some questions. So I think it's better to use the O1 model with students to ask students to ask for hints and prompts rather than just giving the whole solution. And we can also guide our students to say, well, don't follow all of the steps. Maybe just look at step one and then see whether you can work it out yourself. OK, so I'm pretty impressed with the O1 preview model so far. I've tested out two questions. I've tested out two questions so far, and I really like the reasoning and the steps that are actually added in to support student understanding. But again, I want to reiterate, we've got to be very mindful and intentional about how we use these AI tools with students and to still encourage that exploratory investigative approach where students arrive at their own conceptual understandings. Thank you so much for joining me this week. If you've tried the new O1 preview model, please share, put it in the comment section below. I'd love to see what you found in terms of the reasoning. 
and I really hope to see you next time.